Hello everyone, I am Ritika Ori and this is Management Bliss. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. In this video, we will see how to create edit sprints in Jira. But before that, let's have a brief look on what are sprints. In very simple words, sprints are Agile's way of organizing work in iterations. A sprint in Agile frameworks is a time box period in which teams complete a piece of work that can be demonstrated. Now there are certain characteristics associated with a sprint and therefore these points should be kept in mind while creating a sprint. Sprints should not be too long. A sprint's duration should be limited to a few weeks. Consistent duration. Sprint should be of same duration throughout the project except for a few exceptions like holiday time. Goals state the business purpose of the sprint and hence once decided should not be changed. Sprints should be associated with reviews and feedbacks. Team should demonstrate sprint deliverables to stakeholders for their valuable review. With that let's head towards Jira and see how to create sprints. Now I am on the backlog of my project and to create sprint we have this button on the right hand side let's create it on clicking this button a structure for new sprint gets created now we can go ahead and add the duration of the sprint here we can also rename the sprint i will keep it as it is then provide the duration of the sprint as we discussed earlier it should be consistent as other sprint durations and should not be too long generally teams tend to use two weeks of sprint but i have also seen teams having one week or four weeks of sprints so it all depends on what you decide as a team but there can be certain exceptions as well for example in december there are a lot of holidays at that time you can change the size of your sprint with the consent of your team okay so let me provide them certain date again no sprint should be created without a sprint goal a sprint goal should be very clear to the team before starting the sprint and should not be changed once the sprint has started so i'll just put a valid sprint goal over here for example in our case the sprint goal is complete the payment gateway screen including the pop-up message of confirmation slash denial of the payment done in the last transaction okay let's update it so now the sprint has been created i'll just shift all the issues to the sprint from the backlog by simply dragging the issues from backlog to our sprint now since our sprint has been created we can start the sprint by clicking on this start sprint button on the right let's just start it okay so now it just shows us once again the sprint name duration of the sprint and sprint goal before starting the sprint okay so if you want to make some changes we can go ahead and make it else we can just click on this start button to start the sprint so i'm going to click this button now now my sprint has been started successfully one thing which we should be careful before starting our sprint is that our planning for what amount of work has to be completed in the sprint should be very thorough because once the sprint has been started no changes are accepted so now a sprint has been started and we are ready to move our issues to in progress once everything has been completed we can complete the sprint by clicking on this complete sprint button on the top right of the screen so that was it in this video please subscribe the channel if you like the video please press like and thank you for watching